Hey everyone! So finally, I got to record something.、Um, I had to do a rainbow tutu, and finally, just picked up the camera and just started recording.、Um, so for my tutu, I like full tutus. So for my tutu, you will need twelve yards, but. If your tutu is short, like for a one or two year old, you will get away with just using six yards. So what I am doing right here, I am using six colors, and only cutting one yard of each color. So one one yard of orange, one of blue, one of yellow, one of purple, or whatever colors it is that you are using. And from that one yard of each color, you're gonna get two yards. If your tutu is short, if you're making a longer tutu, then you won't get two yards from one yard. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So right here, I am cutting all my colors, one yard of each. I guess you could use less colors if you wanted to, but then it wouldn't really be a rainbow tutu. All right, so here I am about to cut my pink, and what I do, I kind of even it out as best as I can. Especially that fold at the top where it's folded right there. Try to keep it even before I cut. Fold it back up the way that it came in the bolt, and like I said, my tutu is gonna be short. This is for a two-year-old, so I cut it at thirteen inches. So in the end, when the tutu is done, it's gonna measure out to a seven and a half inch tutu, which is totally fine for a two-year-old. It's a good size. So, as you can see, I will cut it thirteen inches. There's one yard, and then cut the leftover at thirteen inches again, giving you two yards of each color. So I will do the same for my rest,、uh, the rest of my colors. So thirteen inches here, and then thirteen inches there, and there you go, two yards. So in the end, from those six yards, you will end up with twelve yards, giving you your twelve yard tutu. So I did use、um, the same colors for my ribbon, and I will show you in a minute how I cut those. And I、um, glue my ribbon. Before I start sewing, just so I don't have to be stopping, and I'll show you that in a minute as well. As soon as I finish this last tool, all right. So now what I'm going to do, which I probably should have done while I was cutting, is arrange. The order in which I want my tutu to be, so alternating the colors, and then start again: purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and pink. And there's the twelve yards. All right, so the ribbon. I get my ribbon from Hobby Lobby. You can get some from Amazon as well. I don't know. I just I just like to go and get it <laughs> at the store. So here I'm showing you what it looks like. So it says three ninety nine, but obviously buy it when it's on sale, fifty percent off. And I am going to cut one yard, and then another yard because I have two yards of each color. So I would do this for every color. One and two. So I will do that for the rest of the colors. 
Um, and then after that, I am going to hot glue just a little corner so I can have my ribbon already all connected. You don't have to do it. I do it because I don't like to stop. I just want to like sew and not, you know, not stop. Um, so let me fast forward this real quick. All right, so now that I have all my ribbon cut, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the tool and pay attention to my the way I did my colors. And I am going to hot glue um, a little piece of the end of the um, ribbon just so that they could be connected and I don't have to keep reaching for the color that's next. So right here I'm going to show you. I put the dab of glue on one little corner and make sure that you put it on the little corner that your needle is not going to go through. So if your needle is going to go through the left side of your ribbon, then obviously put the little dab of glue on the right side. That way the needle doesn't hit the glue. And ignore my huge bruise. I forgot I had that. Um, so here I am just doing a tiny little dab of glue. And that way when I am sewing it's just like I don't have to stop. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And where you have the little opening that's where the thread will be. So here I would do the next color and then the next color and then the next color and I mean you guys get the point. Okay, this is much better. Okay, so you should have two uh, pieces of tool and this is uh, one yard of purple and it's cut at 13 inches from here all the way to the to this end. So it's 13 inches going from here all the way to here and this is for a two-year-old um, so I uh, match the tool to this end of the presser foot and then the ribbon this end to this end and that's just how I do it Satin up and then my ribbon. Here's my ribbon, here's the purple, glitter down, and then this side has to be faced up and this one down. So here's um I see a lot of people who have problems when they go to sew their channel. And this is why so many of you guys are having problems with that. Here's the secret. Just kidding, there's no secret. Um, when you're gonna sew this side of your tool, 
lot of people try to even out these edges over here because sometimes there will be let's say when you're sewing them they won't match up they'll be like this right like one's down here and the other one's over here and what people do is they try to even them out and they put them together like this right because you think that that will be make it all even but in reality what you're doing if your ends do not match up you and you go to fix it you're shifting the tool in the middle because you're forcing it to go the way that you want it to go so in my opinion you should sew the part that has the fold first so on this side i did the white first and if i had a tool that had the fold in it i did it first and then over here where there's the two ends sorry i got interrupted um so when i do the other side mine looks pretty even but let's say it wasn't even i'm not gonna try to force to even it out because again what you should be focusing is that from here to here that the tool is even so if i grab it with both hands like this and i like pull it like this see how it's a little uneven right there right here i'm not gonna try and force to to put it because it's gonna move it all in the middle so i want it from here to this end to be straight so that way when i go fold it and i have to do my channel it will be um it won't this won't happen does that make sense so make sure that from here to here it's even because if I start doing this, if I start moving it to even it out, what happens is right here in the middle, there it's not gonna be even. So that's why I like this machine. It has the arm, so it kind of helps everything go like, you know, smooth. It doesn't shift or nothing. And like I said, if there's pieces that aren't super even, then I just leave it like that and I keep sewing and still keep making sure that from here to here is straight. All right, so I'm gonna do all the glitter. I think I'm just gonna skip through this. It's the same process. Um, do purple and then put the next color. Everything's already attached to each other, so. You just, you just have to go. That's why I attached all the glitter to each other. So I didn't have to stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Oh, another thing. I don't match the thread, okay? If you want to, you can. For me, it takes forever to be changing bobbins and colors and whatever. I use white for everything. There's white thread on the bottom. There's white thread on the top. I don't change it. I don't care. And I haven't had nobody complain. It's not very noticeable, even though, unless I was doing like black ribbon and then I'm gonna go stitch white, then I mean, no, that's very obvious. So I would change it if it was like a very dark color. But even with this purple, I'm, look, I'm show you. Glitter side. It's there, you can see it, but it's not like, you know, the other glitter kind of like sparkles it away. So you can match your color if you want. I don't, it takes, it, it's too time consuming. So I just do white for everything, for pinks, for orange, for green, everything. So it's up to you if you want to match that or not. I don't, even when I do the, elastic part i don't i'd keep it white again unless i was doing black then i would use black thread 
Um, so let me speed through this and then I'll show you when it's all done. Um, I hope you guys really don't want to see that because it's very self-explanatory. flip this one on top of this one see how because we glue the ends now i don't have to go back and look for every end so here's the thread and then here's the end that i had hot glued together and then i put it just enough on top to cover the thread even though you can't see it because it's white and see what i mean so i use white on all the colors and you can't, it's not super noticeable. I mean, unless you like really, really pay attention. But all this glitter like just kind of camouflages the thread. Super sparkly. See, this one even looks green. And it's not, it's white. So, okay. I do on my channel the same size that... I'm going to use the elastic just so it doesn't look like loose, like the channel. Does that make sense? So I do three fourths of an inch. That's the size of my um, of my elastic. So. My Everything's done. Now we have to feed the um, elastic. You should have 12 yards, so that means 12 colors. So it should be two pink. Two green, two yellow, two purple, two blue, two orange. Um, let me get my elastic. So this is for a two-year-old. And this is for a two-year-old. So okay. I'm gonna cut it at. I'm cutting it uh, 17 inches and then I give it a stretch and then I need two of these. And I have the shirt ready over there. I'll show you what it all looks like when it's done. Now to find my start. Right.
Now I'm gonna do the bow. Very simple bow. Um, what we do? Um, let's see, we're gonna need some scissors. Here's the shirt that's gonna go with the tutu. And this bubble, bubbles right here. I have the heat press so that can't flatten out. Um, Alright, so the bow. Very simple. I just grab it like this. Put my fingers like this. Put it like that. Pinch it in the middle. Start folding. That's it. That's it. That's all I do. I don't want to overcomplicate it. Grab the needle. Uh, can't see right. Okay, one, two, three, 